Salam and peace. Welcome to Dawa Dude. Today, inshallah, I will share in our polisher Dawa James a new technique um, Hamza uh, revealed. And uh, currently, Hamza is in Qatar. So let me play this uh, technique, and it's a very short clip. Uh, please do subscribe to Hamza's channel, subscribe to Hamza's Dan. Actually, you will find all those videos there. And please also do subscribe to my channel, Dava Dude, also, and leave your comment and share with others. Okay, well, let me play for you. Jazakallah khair. And I've, I've sort of mentioned it. But there's kind of like five questions. And this is what we did to Alex last night. I used the five questions on Alex last night. And he collapsed. He, he? His... He, I think, the third and the fourth question um, collapsed him. So, if you even right, so let's say you're Christian friends. Let's say his name. Let, let, let's give you some. Let's give an example. Let's say um, Bobby. Let's say Bobby. I do Bobby. He's your Christian friend. Yeah, I don't call Bobby. Anyway, uh, but Bobby, do you believe in? Um, you know, the concept of the absolute truth. And I, what, what, what do you mean? What do you mean, Leo? I said, you know, where, you know, two things of the same nature can't both be true. Like, like for example, Argentina and Brazil can't both win the World Cup if they're in the final because only one could be, only one can win it. So it's like, um, and you could believe Argentina going to win, you could believe Brazil's going to win, you could believe Portugal, you could believe Croatia, you could believe uh, Netherlands, you can believe Morocco, you believe England, you could believe France. But it, only one can be true. Only one will win the World Cup. So you've got eight choices, but only one can win the World Cup. So the concept of the ultimate truth is only one can be the winner. Same as with religions. They're all different. They're all got different fundamentals, different salvational points, different teachings. Um, some reject this, some accept that, and so you can't reconcile everything. So only one can be true. So if you're a Christian, as you said, Leo, your friend's a Christian, and I'm a Muslim. So we both can't. We both can't have the truth. We just can't. Either we both not got the truth, or one of us has not got the truth. So the first point is, do you believe in this concept? And if the answer is, it should be well. Obviously, yes. Brilliant. Okay. Do you care about what the truth is? There you go, Muhammad. Just Yeah. Um, do you care? Do you care? Do you care about what the truth is? Um, and if the answer is, of course, I care about the truth. And then it's, how do you, how do you seek the truth? How do you find out what what is true and what isn't? How how, how do you manage to do this thing? Um, and if he's a Christian, he might slip into Bible now. If he's atheist, he might slip into science now. Yeah. So, what, see what what this is, right? It's speaking to them without mentioning religion. So we've not mentioned religion yet. Well, and we've not asked, "Are you a Christian? Are you an atheist? Are you this? Are you that?" All you've done so far is that you care about truth. Sorry, do you believe in the existence of truth? Do you care about truth? How do you seek truth? Now, this is where the Christian will slip into the Bible, like I said. And this is where an atheist will slip into science. Or whatever truth those people have, they'll slip into that. And then the next question is, do you believe you found truth? Do you believe the method you're using to seek truth out has enabled you to find it? And the life you're living right now is this ultimate truth? So this is question four. Um, if they say, well, yeah. I believe that my way of seeking out truth has helped me find what is true, and I'm living this truth. Um, and again, we've not mentioned religion, we've not mentioned Islam, we've not mentioned nothing. We're just trying to find out. And then this is where it comes in the fifth question, which is the final question. Why do you believe it's true? This is the keynote. Why do you believe it's true? If you're a Christian, why do you believe it's true? If you're an atheist, why do you believe it's true? Okay. So now, they've got to justify their belief. Now, 
they've got to try to show how the method they've used to seek out truth has helped them find truth. And then you turn the screws. Yeah. So if they're an atheist, you say something along the lines of, hmm, but surely if your scientific method has no absolutes or facts, therefore the tr science can't give you truth because what you think is true today could be proven false tomorrow. Therefore, you can never be sure using science as your barometer of truth um, that what you believe is true. Yeah? Yeah? So, so um, subhanAllah. So that's, that's the first thing. Um, or if they're a Christian, you can say, well, you believe the Bible's truth, and then you do the Bible flex here. And what to do, the key, the secret here is, because again, remember one thing, You've not asked them about their religions. You've not come, I'm a Muslim and this is what I believe and anything like that, right? You know, you mentioned Islam to these people at this point. You just want to know, do they care about truth? But you turn the screws. Keep turning. Keep tightening. Keep pressuring. Get your fingers on those pressure points and keep pressuring. And show them that the method that they're using to find out what is truth isn't, isn't reliable. And once you do that, you demonstrate to them what is reliable and what isn't reliable, they're then going to turn on you. You've, you've got them to that point now where they're going to do this. I could say the same thing to you, though. This is what they're going to say. I could say the same thing to you, though. You believe in something and blah, 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 blah. And then you say, oh, would you like me to tell you why I, what I believe is true? And you can do what I've just done to you, no, no problem. And then you present Islam. And end of game. Hope that helped. So this is my new technique now, or a new technique. With people who you're not sure if they want to talk about religion or anything, just do that. Did that help Leo? Jazakallah khair, Mishar. 